Alright guys, I hope everybody is well. I am Machacho Loco and welcome to my channel. Hey guys, I'm back today with another GTA 5 online glitch video. And in this clip, I'm going to show you a new car to car merge. Now the merge we were using before with the Faggio in the arena has been patched. Rockstar has bricked the Faggio. You can no longer push it around. So this is perfect for you guys that still want to put Benny's upgrades, rims, tires, and paint jobs on legendary motor vehicles and other vehicles. All right, it's solo, no custom plate, no joining friends in different targeting modes. It's pretty easy. All right, so your requirements are you need a bunker with a sleeping quarters because that is your spawn location. You have to spawn in a bunker or it does not work. All right, you need the arena workshop. You don't need the other two garages, but you do need the workshop. In the workshop, you want vehicles that you're going to put your upgrades on, and you're going to want a couple cars that you're going to take the upgrades from. Now, I'm going to talk to you about that in a moment. All right, MOC to save them all. If you don't have an MOC, you can still save them, but I recommend using the MOC. All right, so you're going to spawn into a new session. You're going to spawn in your bunker, and you're going to make your way to your arena. Okay, now like I said, now I was going to talk to you about vehicles that you can take the upgrades off of. You need vehicles like the Sasquatch, big tires. All right, and the reason for that is the tires will overlap the vehicle, and it won't let you open doors, and you'll be able to transfer teleport in and out of the vehicle what so you can use the donk you know any one of these vehicles that has big tires any one of them all right so i'm going to use the donk and i'm going to take the, all the upgrades from the donk and i'm going to put it on to this tape pan so the first step is pull the vehicle that you want to put the upgrades on into the mod shop now for this part, it's going to take you guys a little bit of time because it's trial and error. And I had to go at it for a while until I got it down, but you got to do this really quickly. Now the process is pull into the shop, get out of the car, get back in the car, and you're going to hit right on the D-pad, pull the right trigger and left on the D-pad in that order really, really, really fast. All right, right D-pad, trigger, left D-pad. All right, so you get in the car, turns the key, you hear the engine, Right D-pad, trigger, left D-pad. Now you're going to keep doing this. Right D-pad, trigger, left D-pad. Keep doing this over and over and over. You get the timing down, you get it fast enough. What's going to happen... So I think I hit it on this one. This one or the next one. So if you hit it, you're going to get this animation. The vehicle's sort of stuck in the door frame. It says the car... You know uh, on the bottom right hand side of the screen and then you're going to be in the shop just like this but you your front tires are going to be rolling back and forth you're turning the wheel like mad all right so at this point what you want to do is just exit exit the shop which you aren't really going to exit the shop but just exit the shop the car will still be there at this point get out of that vehicle make your way to the vehicle with all the upgrades so now i'm going to use the custom donk this is pushing the limits of if it will work. I had to hit this a couple times, but I got it to hit. It didn't sit straight on, but it pushed the vehicle far enough into the ground that I should be able to teleport in and out. Now the objective here is to be able to teleport in and out of the vehicle with no modifications. All right, so I got it working, as you can see. I'm teleporting in and out of the tape pad. Alright, so you, once you've got that part, you can teleport in and out of the vehicle. You're going to get into the car with the mods. Take it into the mod shop. That's all you have to do. Repair it if there's any repairs. If not, just take it in the mod shop. Right, exit the vehicle. Go back to the spot where you can teleport into the vehicle with no mods. Alright, you're set. Perfect. Now you're going to request a job from Simeon. You can use Ron, Gerald. Simeon's the quickest one because he's the first one I come to. Now this part is similar to Hello? previous methods. This is Simeon. What's up? No problem. Coming you're going to right sort of glitch now. the job. So once the job comes in, you're going to open it up on your phone. Now keep track of this job because you want to use the same job. You're going to do this several times. If you don't hit it the first time, you're going to do this a couple times. So you can open the job full screen, hold down 
the pause button. Let go of the pause button and tap A just a fraction of a second later. You'll hear the click of the phone in the background. It's telling you you've accepted the job and you have the menu open. All right, so if you heard that click, then what you do is you want to go into Jobs, Play Job, Rockstar Created, go to Missions, and start up a Titan of a Job. There's no real timing after this. It's pretty simple. So at this point, just close the job. The moment you accept to close it, start spamming Y and left on the D-pad. Now, I didn't hit it. See him open the... My character opened the door. Yeah, that goofed it for me. So I'll have to do that part over again. Now, there's no door to open because it just fell off. All right, so I'm teleporting in and out of the car. And I'll do that part again. So I open up the phone. Pull up that job from Simeon. All right, I'm going to hold down the pause button, let go of pause, and tap A. You hear it? So I got the menu open. Now I go to jobs, play job, Rockstar created, the missions, and start up Titan of a Job. Any job will do, but a Titan of a Job is the first one. The moment job starts, back out of the job. You're going to get a prompt saying you're quitting the job. When you tap A to quit the job, you're going to spam Y and spam left on the D-pad at the same time. Right now, spam and left and spam and Y. Bam. Just like that. Quit the job. You should be standing by your vehicle. All right. Now, it's a little beat up, mind you. It's seen better days. But there you are. That's it. That's it. Okay? Now the plate on this vehicle is the same as the plate that's on my donk. Alright, so I don't want that. So I'm going to take this vehicle outside. Drive it out and the plate will change immediately. Right there. Plate just changed. Alright, now you want to save this car. So I'm going to call in my MOC. And like I said before, you you don't have to have the MOC, but there's the thing. That license plate, if you don't leave the building and save it an MOC, it will not change. So you can just pull that car right back into the mod shop and change one thing, like the license plate color, and it'll save the vehicle as it is with that other plate on it. The moment you leave the building, the plate goes back to the original plate of the car. Whatever plate was on that car to start with is now back on the car. And now you're going to save it with the original plate. Now this is the this is the method I recommend because you can't really you know screw yourself on this one where Rockstar catches on where you have multiple plates on multiple cars, they're the same. Um, you know you got a dirty dupe, you're detected, and, and you're on their radar. No one wants that. So be cautious, be safe. Just save it in an MOC. Take the extra step, and you don't have to worry about it. And that's it guys it's that simple um, you're gonna have to play with the uh, with the uh, right d-pad right trigger left d-pad part because that has to be done super super fast but other than that it's a it's a pretty pretty uh, simple glitch so uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this you know hey if you uh, if you got this to work for you you know leave a comment if you're having problems leave a comment you know, if you enjoyed it and you got it to work, hit the like button. I appreciate every one of those guys. Every one of those guys. So if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell notification. You don't want to miss anything coming down the road. I sometimes take pauses between uh, releasing clips, but uh, you know, I'm always looking for something new. So anyways, guys, you guys are awesome. Love making these clips. Love these glitches. Glad the community really enjoys it. And uh, you guys are really why I do it. So, hey, be good to one another. I am loco, and I'm out of here.